Welcome to the new TapSpeak sequence version 3. To give you more space on the screen, we removed the permanent phrase and sequence list and given you a sequence access button on the upper left hand corner. You also see there's a countdown timer icon in the toolbar for use with visual schedules. We've added a couple of new ways for you to navigate through your sequences. First, we've added the ability to swipe left and right through your phrases. To enable this mode, open your sequence information, go down to Story Navigation Style, and tap Swipe. Switch users can now navigate backwards through a sequence by tapping their second switch. Now here's our new visual schedule support. You can view any sequence as a schedule and any schedule as a sequence. To view a sequence as a schedule, go into your sequence information screen and under style, change the style from story to schedule. We give you two ways of viewing your schedules, either in a full screen mode or a list mode, depending on how you want to present your tasks. In full screen mode, you can swipe left and right through your task list. You'll see the image or video for your task plus a story to go along with the task. Now let's look at the task completion button. You can turn on the task completion button in the schedule information screen. The task completion button indicates that a task is complete and it also keeps you from redoing it by disabling the audio and video on the screen. The task completion status is sticky. It stays on or off as you page through your task list. You can add a narrative to your task. If you're using iOS 7 or above, you can tap the narrative and it will speak it. Now to introduce the countdown timer. You can place a timer on any task in your visual schedule. Tap the countdown timer icon in the toolbar, turn on the display alarm switch, select the time, and you're done. But that's not all. You can choose one of three alarm sounds, or you can record a message to play when the alarm goes off. What's great about recording an alarm message is that you can reinforce the task completion or introduce the next task or anything else you'd like to say. When the countdown timer reaches zero, the alarm image will animate and the alarm ringer will sound. Cancel the alarm by tapping the alarm image. For the last of the new display modes, go back to Edit Sequence Info and tap List. You'll now see all your tasks in a list. They appear grayed out because we enforce the notion that only one task should be active at a time. It helps you keep track of where you are in a sequence of tasks. Activate a task by tapping on it. Now you can access your message, story, and timer. As you can see in the list schedule view, the countdown timer is optional. If the completion option is on, you'll see the completion button on all the tasks in your list. Finally, here's the new video mode. With any task or phrase displayed, Tap the image editor icon on the toolbar. We'll see that there's now a video button. Tap that to start the camera. You can swap the front and rear cameras by tapping the camera swap button. Start recording by tapping and holding the video preview screen. The red record button pulses when you're recording. Release your touch to pause recording. Tap and hold again to restart. When you're finished recording, tap the end recording button. The video preview screen appears. You can play the video, drag the scrubber to view images in the video, and you can re-record the video by tapping the re-record button. Thanks for viewing the new features of TapSpeak Sequence. Contact us anytime at help at tapspeak.com or visit us on Facebook.